Hello, oh, hello everyone, welcome to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe 100% playthrough, which is also going to be partially blind. Now how this is going to work is mostly, well, I've played the game up to about the end of World 2, so from World 3 onwards, it's just going to be blind. And hopefully I'm able to find every star coin in each level. Now the difference between this, yeah well, the deluxe version and the original on Wii U is the inclusion of two new characters, Odette and Abbott. Now for this, I'm going to be playing as every character, so, but to start things off, we'll, we'll just start off as Mario, why not, and just see how it goes from there. Yeah, of course, the standard Bowser invasion. Oh, well, we got the Cooper kids. Oh, hell yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Where'd you get that from? Aw, oh, isn't he generous? Maybe not. That was a great baseball throw. What a throw. You've been playing baseball. Oh, the little... Oh, they're so small! And we got Toad doing breakdancing. Oh, no! Are they still shooting at the castle? They've taken over. What are they... What's Bowser doing? You'd think after all these years, he'd... He'd know when to stop shooting at the castle and just go for it. Oh, I love that the Koopalings are back. Ah, oh, that brings back memories. Wait, back to like Super Mario World. Okay, so we got Iggy at castle. Oh, we got Kamek and Boom Boom. Oh, he's back. I haven't seen him since Super Mario 3, I believe. Okay, like I was saying, you can play as each character. Now, you can actually change characters just from the main menu, as it shows. Change character, Mario, Luigi, Yellow Toad. I don't know why they have Yellow Toad, though, but whatever. But yeah, Mario, Luigi, Yellow Toad, Toadette, and Nabbit. Now, because... Let's check the map. We have one, two, three, well, three, four, five actual stages. We've got a mini castle, the world castle. So each stage is going to be done by a different character. And hopefully, I'm able to actually get through world one in this video. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so we got Acorn Plains 1, Acorn Plains, play. Wait, don't see something up there? Oh, what? How do you get up there? I want to get up there. <laughs> How do you get up there, actually? Okay, seriously, how do you get up there? We get up there. Oh, forget it. Looks like it's just coins. Okay, let's just continue on and trying to find all these. If not all these eight. I love how the character enemies dance to the beat of the song in each stage. Yeah, look at the Goombas. Well, Goombas case they just jump along. But my point stands. They dance to the beat of the stage. I, I had a test recording done of this beforehand and it was already like it was recorded and everything's all hunky dory but because of the specific controller I'm using all you can hear is this. You can just hear the controls going clank 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 and like oh my god. It's so loud. Like, Far out. 
How am I meant to do... How am I meant to do an actual recording properly if all you can hear is clank, 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 clank? Jesus, man. Go down there. It's the first level, so it's not going to be as complicated. Well, it shouldn't be too bad. Right, so we did that. We're up to seven lives. Only found one star. Where's the rest of those star coins? Thank you for that. Go there. Up. Okay, there has to be a star coin up in up in this pipe. And there is. If this better not be number three. I have a feeling it is. I'm worried about it. Ooh. Yep. I've missed one. Okay. I'm gonna go back a bit. Surprised I've actually missed one. What the heck? Could it be? Be in a pipe somewhere. I thought I could avoid that. Is it? No, I don't want to. Come on. Hey, seriously, where is it? No. No. Go down there, takes you nowhere. Ah, uh, hold. <laughs> down here? Hey, seriously, where is that second coin? Yeah, thank you. I. It should not have taken me this long to find, honestly. <laughs> Okay, there we go, we've got them all. And we got 100 coins, so another one up. Alright, let's continue this. The first stage is taking me way longer than intended. Wait, you... Yes, and annoyingly we have a time limit. Ah. Nothing. Avoid you. Down here. I was... Wow, that was bad. <laughs> oh yeah, Mario time! Okay, that was stage one as Mario. I took forever trying to find that, somehow. I don't know why. Okay, let's change characters. Wish there was an easy way of doing this. Yeah, an interesting thing to note. When you're changing characters, as you can see with Mario, I currently have eight lives. I go to Luigi, you start with five. So lives don't carry over to different, well, to the character select screen. Now we got Luigi. How's this gonna go? Well, I did the test recording as Luigi, so it shouldn't be too bad, as long as I can keep a fire flower for the entire duration of the stage. It should be good. Okay, nothing down there. Don't need it. Ah! Can you onwards? I like this stage, honestly. So far for World 1, it's my favourite stage. I think because it's just different. Let's go. Ooh, we're going backwards, alright. Yeah, go Luigi. Oh, it's nothing down there, don't worry. You out. down this pipe. Aw, oh, man. I actually thought... I always forget where the coins are for this. 
like always think it always seems to be like eh, oh, give me coins thank you <laughs> fire out what's that not cool oh, thank god i got that because i I've played this like with a friend of mine before and we got to that area but accidentally killed the Cooper. Yeah, like twice. They would always just have to hit the Well that block, but it would just send the vine downwards and that's so annoying when that happens. Nothing here. Got that, let's go. Seven, eight. No! Oi, vaya. Oi, vaya. What the heck was that? Alright, go downwards. To make that happen, you had just ground pound. Like, there's a sign that shows you where to go. But like, it's pretty easy to figure out if it's a secret or not. Ooh, much better now than I was in the first stage. Although I think I took about the same amount of time, honestly. I'm more intrigued as to how Toadette and Nabbit are going to play as. Because I haven't played as them before, like in this. Since I've only done as Mario and Luigi. Okay, so it seems Mario is the all-rounder. Luigi has like a longer jump. That seems to be his thing. Like, Mario's an all-rounder, Luigi's a... Like, jumps further. I wonder... Any bet, Yellow Toad will be speed. I'm not sure, sure about Toadette or Nabbit, though. Luigi! Aw, Peach! I like the transition. Okay, that's it. That'd be an easy way to get to this. Instead of always having to do menu change character then change who you want blue yellow toad and we are going to these are um, item houses i'll explain more about it after we've done this because i because as long as you just keep your eye out on where the bowser block is you're fine because you can pick up the two items That was just rude. What the hell was that? Okay, I'm pretty sure it's the far left. Good, I was right. It is the far left. I still don't know what that crown item does. But anyway, as before mentioned, items return from Super Mario 3. Well... Well, you could use items in Super Mario World, but more... Super Mario 3, you had items, like, in the overworld. Because for Super Mario World, you'd have to go into a stage, and then... Yeah, you'd have to go to, into a stage or an area to find the items, then get the items, go to the stage, you get hit, an item automatically drops. It was just a whole fiasco. Anyway, I'm actually going to do each character for a stage. And if I get to a, like these towers or the castle, I'm going to... My plan is, whichever character I completed the stage previous to it, that's who I'm going to use. So in this case, I had done it as Luigi. So Luigi is going to be taking on Boom Boom. And then the next stage will be as Toad. Is that a good system for everyone to use? All right, let's get on with this. What? This game... Again! Every time! I almost forget that. A very shifty star coin right off the bat. Okay, this is a new item that was introduced in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which is the Ice Flower. As you saw before, it's basically just... Is this yet yeah, enemy? Yeah, it just freezes anyone really it's a cool item i feel oh my. here okay never mind 
There we go, now we're talking. Avoid! Away from me, fools! Ah! I wanted to do a slide! <laughs> Oh, that works. <laughs> Why do... I did not realise there was coins there. Okay. Not what I was looking for. Oh my god. I don't know why I keep doing those bloody grunts whenever... Those, yes. One, two, three... We will go here. Or that fresh one up. So what we've doing? We've done pretty well so far. Yes, yeah, so far we only actually not only we haven't missed any star coins. Good. Because I remember when I tried this with my yeah with the friend I was mentioning before. Why every time? <laughs> oh, I could have had that. Seriously, the coin just goes above you, man. I've had a one up from that. Well, I know that. And we've got a fire flower. Seems easy in the... We're about 17 minutes and we're not even... We're only like halfway through the world of fire out. Okay, as the case with Boom Boom. If you've defeated... Defeated him in Super Mario 3, it's the same premise. Just shoot him with fireballs, eventually he'll go down to 2. Go away. No! I lost my fire flower. Damn it! <laughs> well, don't do that. Just make sure you're far away from Boom Boom. This is if you have a Fire Flower. If you're far away from him, just shoot him with fireballs and you'll be fine. And again... Yes. Now, I don't know how you get items to spawn on the overworld, but... If I ever f do it... I'm more than happy with that. Change characters. The Toad. And so far, let's check out. Okay, we're doing pretty well so far. Star coins, we haven't missed one at all just yet. Let's go on to Yoshi Hill. Which clearly would refer to being able to use a Yoshi, so let's go. I feel like... Toad is, yeah, Toad's the speedy character, I'm pretty sure. Let's see now. Trying to jump. There we go. No, he can't, oh my god. I'm gonna say, if I can't reach up with Toad, I'm gonna make things so much harder. Yeah, yeah, she... Okay, so far so good. Fire out. Last you Monty Mole looking schmuck. Just go up and do things. Come on, completely missed. What are you doing? Whatever, mate. Whatever. Okay, let's go to this hidden pipe. What is he doing? Far out. Yeah, that's great. I'll avoid the piranha plant. You don't have to eat them all. They have no purpose. Yeah. 
Ah. Come on. <laughs> what are they doing? I love them. Okay, nothing up there. They're gonna try and chase you, but you're safe. Just get to a different ledge and you're good as golden. Where, oh where is that last? Let's continue onwards. So I'm actually having more fun than needs to be. There's like a ledge of coins. Clearly something's up. Thought so. Okay, let's get this last star coin and then just make our way through the world. I'm unsure if you can unlock like a secret bonus world or anything from collecting those. Oh, you stupid moles! Come on, come on, you're gonna make it, you're gonna make it! Oh, what? Ah, oh, I can't even make it up there! What the heck? And we got it! And we made that with Toad! But clearly Toad is speed! Aw, that's cute. Thanks for your assistance, Yoshi. Okay, so we've got that. We've completed with Toad. Now we will go on to... I wish there was an easy way of doing this. Okay, let's check out Toadette. We'll find you. Yeah, in this... You can also find different baby Yoshis throughout stages. The pink one is... I'm essentially calling it a hot air balloon. I'll show you why. They... They... It inflates. Oof, it's so adorable. I love seeing... Fat... Yeah, fat pets. Well, when they're young. It's so adorable. What the hell? Um... Ah, so she floats. Ah, oh. that's why. Okay, now I get what the now I get what that crown does. It turns Toadette into princess. That's the whole Bowser thing. Now I get it. No, because for the longest time, first I'm gonna take out these. Those pumpkin looking goombas. That's what the crown's for. Right. Do that so I can get... No! Uh, man. I don't know why I thought pressing Y again would let me get that. <laughs> so the crown is basically Toadette's mushroom. Alright, okay. And we are back to Princess Peach for some reason. Not what I was expecting, but alright. If I keep this, like, mushroom, do I stay as Princess? It's there. That was a good save. <laughs> I'm actually so pretty relieved with that. And we will go. No! Ah, oh, fine. It says two days of peach. I did it. I'm okay. Looks like I stay as two dead. Oh, I'm. I don't know what to call her. Do I call her two dead peach? Yet? What do I call her? She still looks like Peach, even though she's dressed up as two dead. Well, anyway, that's enough of Toadette. 
Let's check out Nabbit. Let's see what this is about. Ah, oh, okay, so to How am I gonna get down there? Wait a minute. I get hurt. That's right, Nabbit doesn't get hurt. So it's for So Nabbit is basically beginner mode. So Yeah, so Nabbit's basically invincible. Yeah, see I'll show you. Normally if you play as a character, I'd be getting hurt big time here. But because I'm playing as Nabbit, I don't get hurt. See? And you can kill enemies without any issues. And you... The, the only drawback is you don't get any power-ups. See that? It just turns into points. Which is fine. But I'm pretty sure you can still die from falling in pits and all that. But the good thing... See? You can just run through anything, so... If you were wor- If you kept dying so much in stages and everything, just play as Nabbit and you're as good as gold. Because you'll just be going through enemies like no tomorrow. Alright, uh, let's go. Thought I could slide down that. Done. Done. Alright, and that's Nabbit. Well, I've never played Nabbit, so that's why I wasn't really saying much, because I had no, no clue what... What? Oh, that's good as! Okay, so make sure you collect any of those power-ups that you can. Because as you just saw, I collected about three fire flowers, and because of doing so... Come on, there we go. I want to tackle you. Yeah, and because of that, you basically were able to... Well, before, I'll go on about that before. For this, all you have to do is defeat the Piranha Plants. If you were playing as like Baby, as like Mario, Luigi, or Toad, and you didn't have a Fire Flower or anything, that, the block that keeps coming by, that would contain a star. I'll show you. So, the star, we have it though. We can just use the Yoshi to get it. Wait, penguin suit? Normally you get like a star. What the heck? You get different power ups for each character? That's awesome! Okay, I'm saving that for a later world. We will go to this live's house. It, the toad will explain what's going on. Yeah. I call it the one-up cannon. So, all you have to do is just try to collect as many one-ups, which are the green ones. Which sometimes are very difficult to miss. Thank god I've gotten... They, they are hard to miss. I hate them so much. No! Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Try and outsmart me, will ya? Okay, so I got six of those and then three Bowsers. So in total, you get three one-ups. But as I was saying before, make sure to collect as many power-ups as you can with Nabbit because when you complete a stage, they turn into one-ups. And also, like I said before, back at the bo Boom Boom Power, any character I complete... I complete a stage with before. That's who I play as for the tower and the castle. And because I completed the previous stage with Nabbit, that's who I have to do the stage with. And thank god there's no star coins up there, so I'm all good. But you can complete the this level with Nabbit and be able to get all star coins. 
be a little bit different. Nah, well good. I was more right about that one, honestly. Yeah. I'm just trying to get every and any power-ups I can. Strip. I love these castles, honestly. So good. Go down. Back up. Find that. Ah! I don't know what happens if I'm to land in, like, lava. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, so we can die from lava, and... But unfortunately, I can't get all star coins. Ah, oh, great. Ah, oh, what do I do? All right, here's what we'll do. I'll complete the level as I can with habit. Then I'll go back and just complete the stages intended. So I'll complete as I can. That. Do that, go down. Oh my god, I nearly fell in that lava again. I don't want to do that, man. That's <laughs> all we got there. Oh my god, I nearly fell in again. I've got to stop doing those grunts. Why do I keep doing them? <laughs> okay, so. Get that fire flower, and then... No, actually, this is just the good area. Well, the outside to... They make those ships look massive! Not massive, they make them look so small, but then when you get on, you're like a blip. Anyway, we meeting up with Iggy. And here, with Iggy, there we go, and rinse and repeat. You can just stay in the middle while Iggy just spins back and forth, hit him again, he's done. Simple. Oh, he's so... One, two, three, ah. Huh. I'm guessing the maximum is three, maybe? Max yeah, like three one-ups, perhaps? I don't know. Anyway, we've de Wait, can I go back into that stage? I better be able to. Yeah, I don't see why I couldn't. I'm just saying that the castle's been cleared. And a path has been made for World 2. We'll save. And then we'll go back to Mario. Oh, thank God, I was going to say, I better be able to do that castle. <laughs> God. Okay. I'll meet you guys after I've completed this stage. And we are back. Okay, I died about two, three times. And that's two or three more times. Two or three times more than I expected to. But anyway, completed that stage, got that last star coin. And now what we're seeing is the layout of World 2. Layer Cake Desert. And I'm going to end the episode here. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>